suggest. For quite some time in strategic planning and development, we've had uh, staff members from the strategic planning team come and talk to teleconferences in each region. That, to me, is the most robust and most effective model that we've found to date. Uh, it certainly works better than this committee as a whole, particularly because what we do then is ensure that as many at-large structures and individual members are either at that meeting or access the transcript and the recording from that meeting. The earlier that can happen in the process, the better. Um, and, and I think, you know, if we get our dates, we, we have fixed dates for regional meetings. We can tell you exactly when from July through to 2055 when our meeting dates are. Once or twice they'll slip because there is an ICANN meeting in the middle. But beyond that, for these things, there should be a really, really very high degree of predictability. So I'm pretty happy with the early kickoff. I think we can make this work well. Then what happens is the ALSs need to go to their membership. Discussions happen. We put up wikis. The conference works. Regional information and commentary is gathered. Regional leads tend to pen a, a regional approach. So you'll get an AP rollover and an AF rollover. And then usually Tijani, because he's just so um, good at it, um, it, it brings the whole thread together. So you then get an ALAC perspective on it all. Because a lot of what you hear from different regions is unified, but there are particular things which are quite variable and different. Have I done justice to it today? Thank you very much. Cheryl, and that's the approval from Tejani. I had a comment with regards to the strategic plan draft timeline, uh, which uh, my colleague at Duralo uh, might wish to actually agree to, uh, which is that the July 2011, I can see, open public comment forum for input. And uh, I gather that probably closes sometime in late August. This period is a time when most Europeans are away and are totally unable to function. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal honesty. It's what you get in this room. Brutal honesty. As opposed to the rest of the time. It's not as European as the United States. And, 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 well, many other people as well, but, but Europeans primarily. Okay, then. The Europeans for that period of time. So my question for that might be, if you know year over year that this is now becoming a routine timeline, could you not think ahead of that window and if you need some information or we should have things supplied to you to help do that or a webinar that gives all that data at one time and then that one time will allow you the extra time you're, you're, you're thinking may be necessary because of that situation. And that's why the year-over-year -year idea I mentioned came up. And also, if we've given this to you and you come back and say, can you meet with us on this date, then we can supply it. We'd be very willing and cooperative to do that as well. That would be very helpful. Thank you, Carol. Olivia, can and, I uh, share on the the record? Particularly when you keep doing things in the beginning and end of calendar months, and we have regional leadership which meets at the very beginning and we have a RALO that meets at the very end and that of course you know you think you're, you're socializing something in the month of June but if AP RALO doesn't meet till the end of the month they actually need the next month or more to get their information back and that's during the open public comments so we sort of get out of sync and so yeah that would be wonderful thank you good point Cheryl thank you Thank you. Any other comments or input on this specifically? I don't see anyone uh, moving forward. I guess we can then move to... Do you, do you have anything else to, to ask of, of us or any closing? Oh, sorry Dave, I didn't see you. In the last just uh, working group meeting, okay, uh, uh, some ideas proper for support for registrars, for needy registrars. I think uh, uh, since we are talking about support, uh, support uh, in a broader sense should be one of the strategic objectives. 
and then uh, there are various means, ways and means to to make, to have the metrics to got people. We can pull the stats before support being provided, especially in developing countries, and get the stats after that, that support is being provided. So I think uh, support should be one of the uh, strategic objectives. Thank you. Much appreciated. Thank you. Can I ask a question, Dave? Would you see that um, sitting in the security pillar? No, no, or none of you are saying your names. <coughs> so Cheryl it was Carol who said thank you, and then it was Cheryl who said okay. goodbye. Sh Cheryl is now intervening, sorry, and not him, sorry. Uh, would you see that fitting into which of the four strategic pillars? Would it be that support would aid the security and stability or <coughs> resiliency or, or what? Where in the pillar model might that fit? I just wonder. I, I think uh, 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 to be given the, any category on one of the pillars, it's the uh, strategic committee to decide whether it fits in one or the other, but I'm talking about support, because support is becoming like uh, uh, an area of concern. Thank you, Dave. I heard that Cheryl wants to talk. But, uh, well, we need to talk, but that's probably later. Right, uh, any other... Yes, at the end of this, yes. So, uh, I just wonder whether you have any more, uh, to, uh, any other things to tell us, basically. Um, no, I, I had asked my question, this is Kurt, I had asked my question. Um, one of our takeaways, though, is on our timeline. I think we're going to wind up making a few timelines, you know, one for different stakeholder groups, so we can incorporate your processes into that timeline. So we'll be more educated, because I can't, and I can't, we can make one timeline. And every uh, stakeholder group has a different process, so it doesn't always work out. I, I wonder, Olivia Cheryl, and you know, for the record, whether we should take an AI and you might encourage other parts of the Arcane community to do the same, to actually give you a, a, a sample of our dates and our whatever. I'd love to see Arcane have a shared calendar one day, but that would be a utopian dream, I suspect. Um, but you know what I mean? So you've got, a, you've got some cold hard facts with dates we have. Certainly, I think it's something we can do for you, and we might encourage the others to do so as well. Yeah, we've worked with Matt, so I'll figure that out. Yes, thank you. And the timeline, by the way, is very much appreciated. Uh, too often do we have to uh, suddenly uh, mobilize resources at the very last second when most of the resources are gone on holiday. So, um, certainly, extremely important to have that. Any other closing statements? Then, in which case, I can also ask if there are any other business uh, to ask you questions. And I see that Evan is frantically waving, it, uh, waving his hand. So, Evan, please. Hi there. Uh, this goes back to uh, something that was uh, touched on but moved aside uh, on an earlier slide. Uh, essentially, um, you're aware of the Joint Applicant Support Working Group and the work that needs to be done in an extremely compressed time frame. We've been charged between now and Dakar to come up with what almost amounts to a second applicant guidebook for needs assessed applications. Um, could, I, uh, could I possibly, um, well I'm not empowered to speak on behalf of the working group, I think most of the other members would share this need in the fact that we badly need the staff resources from somebody like uh, Margie. Uh, Carla has been fantastic for us, but we're going to need additional resources over and above what she's already been giving us, uh, the kind of wordsmithing skills that we need to be able to take the rough uh, diamond that exists right now in the work of the joint the working group and turn that into something that would become a guidebook, an instruction book for applicants who need support, what they need to do, what the criteria are, what the mechanics are going to be. Um, we have an awful lot of work to do in a very short period of time, and uh, Carla has been fantastic for us, but given what we're asked to do, we're going to be severely under-resourced. Thank you, Evan. Uh, would you like to comment? Okay, Alan. Yeah, I, I, 
Evan is talking about specific requirements to support the group. I'm looking at things from a slightly wider point of view. The board resolution says that a implementation plan has to be in place prior, you know, given to the board in enough time for them to make decisions, which essentially means the beginning of October. That leaves us exactly three months. Uh, we need some feedback very quickly from staff to the extent of how late now, are you planning to work in parallel with us and implement things as we go along and change them? Uh, when do you need a, a, an approved report from the GNSO and the ALAC in order to finalize or pick and choose among your alternate implementation plans? Because when we start looking at the cycle times for the ALAC and particularly the GNSO to approve a report, which in the case of the GNSO definitely means going back to each of their stakeholder groups and constituencies, to be slightly uh, cynical, we may have passed the date already. <laughs> Thank you, Evan. Any more questions, or do you have an answer on this? You do. Perfect. Um, well, I think I think so. I think three things. Well, um, one is. Um, the, the, the current state of the report, I think, as far as criteria for um, meriting ass assistance is, is pretty good. I mean, I think it's pretty close. It can be somewhat daunting when um, the board says, um, you know, you need to go invent something that's not capable because then you start saying this is, you know, this is almost an impossible end. But um, what we want is something that's good, really good, right? And, and um, relying on people who need the will apply for it. And um, the most important thing is to provide assistance. And the second most important thing is to, to make it not, not capable for the, for the extent we can. So, um, not, not to mention the fact that now we have the board mentioning specifically about the fund. Yeah. We have specific mention about the possibility of fee reduction. There's been advice from the GAC. All this needs to still be built in before we can even work on the details. So, um, so cer certainly um, we'll, we'll, um, us, we'll provide more support because we, want, we, want, we understand the need for more support. We're not going to talk about individuals, yeah, because then I get in trouble. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, won I wonder to the my other, my other um, so my other practical suggestions are these. I, I wonder to what extent some of this already exists in um, applications for grants and criteria for grants and. Um, you know, maybe the, the form of staff for support is to do some research into um, where some of this product already exists that we can um, borrow from. That's my second. Sorry, this is a, that's exactly the kind of thing we need. I mean, whether it's writing or research or all of the above, we need that kind of help. So my, 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 my third um, um, really practical suggestion goes, goes about the, on the timeline because my my understanding of it is um, if an applicant wants to apply for a new PTLD, um, they want to know whether or not they have financial support before they make that decision. So the, 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 uh, you know, the support has to occur earlier, so the process has to be ready earlier. So um, we, we somehow have to work together on <coughs> developing solutions in parallel, working very closely together. We have some signals from the board about where, you know where they might where they might want to go, and so I think we need to um, not make it not make this process too serial. That we're awaiting the we're watching you know we're watching the JNS work and we're watching the drafts, but we're, we're, you know staff or others aren't saying anything about it until the report is released, and I would say, well, we don't like that part. So um, I think you know we got some I don't know if Sebastian wants to add, but we got some clear signals from the board this week about where they want to go and um, to the extent we can we should just drive together towards a set of things we know are acceptable to the, you know we think are acceptable to the board and um, you know work, work together on those so you know I don't I'm really loath to say it because a little bit of corruption to the, the bottom up process but on the other hand I think we're working for the same thing and that is um, have, having some some form of aid in the time. Given the full uh, uh, did I tell you to speak? <laughs> I'm sorry, go right in. 
I'm sorry, Alan, I'm getting really tired. Um, uh, first is Alan, and then we'll have Carlton. Um, sorry, I hadn't realized there was anyone in the line. Given what we went through in the last couple of months with the GNSO, given that the GNSO has now semi-officially signed on and say they support this wholeheartedly, but given that they still have very strict and formal processes for approving things, I think you need to speak to GNSO leadership and try to figure out with them approving what the minimum timelines are for getting things to them. If we let simply let nature take its course, they have a meeting in July, which we will not meet deadline for. Their next meeting is in September, something like that. Um, at, w at which, according to their normal processes, they could defer it till the next meeting, which would be October and pass their deadline. Uh, they may actually have to do something, and I s I've sat on the GNSO Council for five years, so um, I'll use tongue-in-cheek sort of, but they may actually, heaven help us, have to schedule a special meeting for this. Um, well, I don't believe this has ever happened, so it's not in my lifetime. So. I, I think it's going to take some extraordinary action in dealing with them to come to closure on it, but it has to be done real soon, because the jazz group has been really good about pulling a paper out of a hat when they didn't know it was there was a due date two weeks before. We probably don't want to do it this time. Thank you, Alan. Uh, Carlton, one of the co-chairs of the jazz group. Thank you, Chair. I'm, I'm, I'm following on Alan because that's what I wanted to point out. We, we are, have a situation where we have literally three months to finalize the report. We have a situation where one of the charging organizations, by virtue of its processes, I don't believe we'll ever get to the point where they don't the say that they've stand for approval. So perhaps the approach that we're going to have is that we have to have a finalized report with some placeholders at it. Okay. And, and probably what we would need from you, Kurt, is, 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 is probably a preview, uh, Evan, of where the placeholders are to Kurt. And then we will find out from you what is it you can do to help us fill out those placeholders. That, that seems to me the approach to make. If I may expand on that, just to be, uh, just to give you, Evan. sorry, this is Evan, uh, for the record or whatever. Uh, this is uh, what the jazz group, what its next course of action was after coming out with the second milestone report, was actually trying to do a red line version of that report and trying to flesh out specific areas where more detail was needed, decisions were required, or where that polishing was required. And so the next step now of the group is going through the milestone report and finding those components which are good as is and finding out all the other pieces that need fleshing out, need a little bit more decision making and need a bit more detail. Thank you, Evan. And just for clarity, uh, Carlton said we have three months for a final report. We have three months for a final implementation plan. Many bets And uh, Sebastian wishes to add a few words. Yeah, thank you, um, Olivier. Uh, I think this week uh, has been very productive for this subject because you specifically like do a lot of outreach and meetings with different constituency in the uh, in ICANN, and um, I really have the feeling that you are going to the right direction. And my advice is to take into account all, but now you have to take into account GNSO because they have a, a co-chartering organization, but you have also to take into account GAC because you start to work with them. Then it's not the same situation where before you were two. Now you are two plus GAC plus the board. Then it's something to reinvent. You are not, you are not yesterday, you are after one week of hard work, then take that as a win, not as a trouble. And if you have trouble with one of them, 
it's go. And I will say to add to this picture, you have the staff, we are willing to help you. I heard Kurt clearly saying that we will help you. Then now we, we are entering in, in a new new area. Then don't, don't spend too much time on, on the past. Go to the future. And, and, and try to do two things, to separate two things. I, I, I think it's not your job to do implementation. Uh, even if you are not a, a, a policy organization, it's for, you need first to, to finalize what, are, what you want as policy level. When I say policy level, it could be uh, 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 the money, how it's the flow, the money will flow, what you will use as uh, element to uh, determine if one uh, application, an applicant is a, a good one under your criteria. There are maybe something already existing for that in the, in the guidebook then you, you must discuss that with the, the staff because they know even better than every other person in this room what is inside the guidebook and how it's supposed to, to work. And, and uh, uh, then, because if I see the timeline, you, we need an approval by the board in, in the October meeting in, uh, in Dakar then the implementation itself must be done in the way that the applicant must be able to apply before the 12 force 12, not uh, 12 one 12. And here you are also three months of, of uh, um, possibility to, to take it to, uh, into account as a, as a planning. Then if, you, if, if we have a, a policy decision completely uh, in, in Dakar. Uh, I hope, I am sure that the staff will have already work on some I issue on the implementation phase. That means that before the end of, of uh, December, you could have a plan uh, acceptable by everybody. And, and uh, it's a little bit late, but as you are, you will have already a police, policy decision, uh, we can start to outreach the future candidate and, and it will be made even before because we are supposed to open a page with uh, uh, the needy applicant and the, the one who are uh, willing to help uh, uh, before the end of the month. And, uh, I, I see it's a tight schedule but you have all the tools in your hands to, to make that a success. And I can ensure you that the board is willing to help you. and. Uh, uh, globally, and some some member more more than others, but uh, uh, take that as a as a deal, and uh, I am sure that you will deliver. Thank you. Thanks, thanks very much, Sebastian. And uh, I hear from Kurt uh, that this is a sort of timeline that that would work. So uh, thank you for all this advice. And this, of course, has been recorded. So then I guess we'll have to come back to this and put our own timeline uh, into. Uh, perspective for this. Any other questions or suggestions? I do realize time is passing by and uh, we have spent nearly an hour uh, with uh, Kurt and Carol. Uh, you, you're very welcome to stay with us for another couple of hours. We have plenty of questions. But um, Cheryl Langdonau first. Let's, let's go quickly. Uh, thank you, Cheryl Langdonau, for the record. I was waiting to see what, what Danny or Younger might have been typing in. I'm just briefly reading and I believe it is very much on the next topic of the conversation, not the strategic so I just want to double check in case we let you escape before a strategic planning question was asked. <laughs> he may disagree with my judgment there. Olivia, you might want to make fun of it. Thank you, Cheryl, and I haven't had a chance to read that paragraph. Oh, sorry, this is Evan. Uh, as I'm reading what Danny's saying, he's talking about the objection procedures and the funding procedures on the GTLD guidebook. That may be a bit much to get into the discussion right now. Okay. Uh, 
Can I move then, Sherilyn, and the record that this be taken? We'll get an AI, we'll send it to the necessary places which will have your email address on the top of it, I think, Kurt. Um, and you will undertake, obviously, to get back to Danny, but copy to us all because it's obviously something the community is interested in. That works? Yes. Good. It's actually, I have to take it. Thank you very much. Well, thanks very much, Kurt. Thanks, Carol, for spending the whole hour with us <laughs> rather than just half an hour. We take it that you love us for staying here for so long. Yeah, first, first prize is uh, half an hour with us, and second prize is an hour. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're happy for the hour. The second prize is fine. We're, we're happy for all of that. Thank you. Thank and, you. Uh, Thank you very have much. Have a good break post I can <laughs> Those who care, I point out, this is the time that they said the internet will go down. Right. So from now on, I guess we're just we're working on borrowed time. I've been doing that for years. I actually asked. Did you say that for the record, please? I actually asked the IT guys to see if they could extend it a little bit, so we may get lucky. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. And I believe a few Singapore dollars might help. <laughs> I, and I didn't say that, so we'll have to strike this from the record, because I would never, Keep never in warrant movie. any such encouragement, of course not. Uh, even even for more work for us. But back to agenda item number two. It was budget, yes. What's the next one we Agenda item number two, uh, open policy issues, uh, which we skipped a little bit earlier, and uh, I guess that we have to return back to this. Of course, I have to open it as well, because it is...